Well, um, we were rolling on the road. Some lights were flashing on Alex's Toyota here on his Tundra. And now it's like, I was looking it up and I, we think it's in limp mode because of some recall. Life problems. You want to no go problem. fishing? And you can't go fishing because your truck is limping. Limping. We're in limp mode. <laughs> limp. That's such a sad name yeah, for a big just, truck. Just, limp. just we're in limp mode. Limp mode. Time to try and save Alex. Toyota in limp mode on the highway. Not what you want to see. Worst case scenario, we have to dr drive his or drop his truck off and the boat off at the Toyota dealership for, for the day and get that problem fixed. You know, just another another start to a day bass fishing, right? It's just always crazy. Something's going on all the time. So I'll catch up with you guys once I find his boat. Caught up to him now. You got the flashers on. Things don't always go as planned as we uh, as we saw here. Unfortunately, he's gonna have to leave his truck here for the day. Um, you're getting picked up, yep. so not gonna be fishing with Alex today. But it's real life fishing, y'all. Yeah. This is what happens. You own a boat, you own a truck, you own a kayak. It doesn't matter. Something's gonna break. Something's gonna tear up. Eventually. <laughs> Eventually. So it's the price of playing the game and doing this thing. So yeah, we'll like do it right. again though. We'll do yeah, it again. So we had a bit of an interesting start to the morning. As you guys saw, we <laughs> spent about, oh God, what time is it now? It's 12.30. Spent four hours trying to deal with Alex's Tundra. And unfortunately, he's not gonna be able to join us. He's out for the day, but I'm in Gene's boat now. What's up? Didn't ever think when I started watching YouTube fishing videos that I'd ever end up in your boat. <laughs> gotta say that. So this is kind of surreal for me. It but floats just like every other one. It's true, yeah. I guess, you know, just a good old boat. But um, he's been out on the water for a bit now. He's already caught four fish. So he's going to kind of run me through the app and where he's caught them so far. Give you guys a little idea of what we got going on bite-wise. And then I didn't catch a fish yesterday, so I want to catch a fish. So let's get to fishing. All right, so here's the boat ramp we put in at, okay? And uh, I always like to make it an access point just so I can get back to it especially on lakes I don't know a whole lot about, but we came out of Sail Creek, and it's real nice that the wind's blowing on the, on the water in this uh, satellite photo, because then you can see all the sloughs and pockets. And we came down here, and I caught my first fish. This is actually a rocky bank under the surface. And I caught my first fish about right there. So as I was, I, I fished this entire bank, and as I was working my way towards where I caught that fish, I saw some fish schooling in the back of this pocket. So when I stopped catching fish right here, I came around and came and I started fishing this bank right here and then I saw some really schooling good in the back. When I say schooling, they're breaking the surface, they're chasing shad that are back in the back and there's some grass in the back of this creek. So drop the old honey hole pin down in there and literally I stayed just right there and I just caught one, two, three, right after one right after the other. And then I uh, invited Scott and John Cox who are sitting right over there in their boat in and they caught a couple more. Uh, Scott caught one on a chatterbait. I caught mine on a, on a fluke. Most people don't think I fish a fluke. <laughs> because we caught so many in the back of that pocket and there's no creek or any water running in the back of that pocket, which this time of the year it tends to warm up and stay warm a little bit longer because there's no fresh water coming into it. And so we came around to where we are now and we're going to go to the back of this pocket and see if there's any fish back there. See if we can establish a pattern.
I put it in the grass. We might want to put frogs on. That was up in the grass. Always smiling, all right? Always smile. Oh, I just started recording too. <laughs> Decent one. Swinger. Ready? Be close enough. Come here, Tucker. Tucker got a leak. Little midday update for everyone. Well, I guess not midday. I missed midday. <laughs> this is the uh, the post midday to the end of the day update. Uh, I missed a decent fish top on top water, skimming the fluke across some grass. Unfortunately, uh, Gene here caught caught a decent one on a chatterbait out of the grass. So we were trying to stick to this pattern. Came back into this pocket here. We were seeing fish bust, but we're just not not hooking up. Oh, there we go. Oh no. Oh. He was little. I was like, I was starting to just roll him in, but yeah, he came off. All right, we're heading in. My uh, mid game update was my, we have 10 minutes left update. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh. And I put him on another fish. Yeah, okay, so he literally said, look at this beautiful looking riprap here. He's like, we're gonna go over here, we're gonna catch a fish. Sure enough, I throw the fluke out there, hook up immediately, and lost the fish. So that one's on me. Brought the wrong kind of gear. I'm a I'm a northerner, as they keep telling me, and uh, this is not a northern fishery. But all's well. We're gonna go get some Chinese food now. Had a fun day on the water. Alex, we missed you, buddy. Oh, it's a good one. New personal best. Really? Caught a personal best <laughs> with Luke. 